Hey beautiful, I'm Alexis Coakley, and if you're watching this, I'm a reflection of you, you're a reflection of me, and we're all a reflection of me. So today I wanted to talk about how I rewired my subconscious and changed my life pretty much with affirmation tapes and mantra loops. I got some little notes. Don't mind that noise, my daughter is playing with the blinds. Respectfully though, she's doing it respectfully. Which I appreciate you, mama. So, basically, I changed my whole life. Like, I, in a matter of a couple of years, actually, like, my whole entire life, the girl I used to be was very shy. I wasn't confident in myself. I was living very much in my head all the time. I was, I didn't know how to hold conversations. I didn't have a good uh, belief about money. I had a terrible relationship with money. I had, uh, I was sad. I was very not emotionally um, intelligent. I didn't know what I wanted to do, but the woman that I am today, the woman that you see before you is very confident. I can talk to anybody about anything. I strike up conversations now. I'm confident in the way that I look. I'm confident in the way that I talk. I'm confident in sharing my art through whether that's rapping, whether that's through fashion, whether that's singing, whether that's poetry, whether that's coming on here, showing up on YouTube and guiding others. I'm walking in my purpose. I know my purpose. You know, I know why I'm here. I, I'm happy. I'm very happy. I'm very emotionally intelligent. I know my emotions. I sit with them. I understand them. I can communicate them and express my feelings easily with no problem. And I attribute a lot of that to mantra loops and affirmation tapes. So if you know about manifesting, then we know that manifesting is just bringing an idea or anything that's in your brain into your reality, right? Whether that is manifesting your dream job, manifesting money, manifesting um, a red car, manifesting a good day, manifesting whatever it is that bring, comes into your reality, taking an idea, a visual, an image, a feeling, and bringing it into this reality here. So I'm a very musical person and I do really good when I listen to something. I can remember it. I'm a very just... I like to hear things. I like to sing. I like to rap. I love to sing. I love to rap. So uh, when I was learning about manifesting, a lot of the times um, they would tell me to script. They would tell me to journal. They would tell me to do the 369 method. I would see, like, um, visualize. And a lot of that helped me. It worked for me a little bit because I am a person that likes to write. I am a person that likes to be visual and all those years of being in my head and, you know, creating in my head and just spending time in there allowed me to strengthen my, my ability. <laughs> my ability to visualize and bring things into the physical realm that I am in right now. But the one thing that really stuck with me was music mantra music and I started out with affirmation tapes just writing out information affirmations and uh, recording myself and I use this app called band lab to do that and it allows me that's where as an artist I make my music on there too but I also was like let me just use this for my affirmation tapes because I used to do them on my voice memos but with band lab I'm like hmm I can just you can like make a song and then you could go to your library and just play them which means you could take those affirmation tapes that you recorded and you could play them on a loop. You can play them on repeat. So I will listen to them while I slept because your subconscious is always listening. And while you're sleeping is the time of least resistance because you don't have all these other thoughts and things. It's just going straight to your subconscious. You know what I'm saying? So I would listen to them on band lab. I would write them all out, especially just what I wanted to do, what I wanted to see, what I wanted to be, um, what I wanted to experience, what I wanted to feel, I would write out these affirmations. I like, I would write out my dreams and in the 
in the present tense as if I already had them. Like, I love my new car. That's one way I love doing affirmations with I love and I love perfect. It's perfect. I love my perfect car. I love my perfect apartment. I love my perfect neighbors. Like, there's, you have to be careful with what you wish for because you can, like, I have a million dollars. Boom. You know what I'm saying? Something terrible happens, but you get a million dollars because of that. So I feel like if you say, I love my perfect da 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 da, or I love my da 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 da, or my da 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 is so perfect, there's nothing that can go wrong with that. Because if you love it, you genuinely love everything about it. If it's perfect, everything is perfect. And then maybe it may not be like pristine, clean, but the way you got it is perfect. It's perfect for you. So just a little, <laughs> just a little, just a little tip. I love my and perfect. Use those in your affirmations. But I would list those all out. And at first, I was reading them every day. But then I'm like, this is taking too much of my, like, I don't know. It was just too much. Just reading a list every day was just a lot more than me hearing them, playing them in my ear while I'm getting ready in the morning, especially before my daughter woke up because I only had one daughter. Now I have two. But at the time, I only had one daughter. So before she woke up in the morning, I would, I could listen to it. You can put your headphones in. You could be out and about somewhere. You could be on a walk. You could be sleeping and listening to it. Like that's the one thing you can't read in your sleep. So just playing those on a loop. And there's a bunch that I saw on YouTube that I used at first. There's a bunch that I, um, a bunch of affirmations that I got offline on blogs and Pinterest and things, but I would take those affirmations and kind of tweak them a little bit just to fit me a little bit more and be a little more customized and specific to me and my desires. And creating your own affirmations are just so powerful. I would highly recommend starting off with some pre-made ones if you need to get in the swing of things. But eventually you want to make your own tailored to you. And um, the affirmation tapes is what led me into the mantra loops because I'm a very musical person and I've been writing music and poetry since I can't even remember I, don't, I know exactly when I don't know what this moment but bless you lovely I started writing music and poetry at a very young age I want to say honestly in elementary school but I, I was never really confident in my abilities with it you know what I'm saying but something about music and Especially, okay, you know, with the day and age, we got TikTok sounds, we got real sounds, and these little short snippets stuck in your head. So I'm like, why don't I just create something, a, a mantra loop, and shout out to Jim and L, Chris and Teeb, Tony Jones, Londrell, and what's her name, Zai. Those are some of the people, the artists that I discovered along my journey that were already doing affirmation music, that already had some mantra loops out. It's things that repeat. So I'm like, why don't I just make my own, custom tailor it to me for what I want and what I desire and what feels the best for me, and then make it into a little, a little four lines, eight lines or whatever, and it just repeats. You just say it over and over, it's stuck in your head, but it's also reprogramming. Every time you say it is another program. It's like another entry into a sweepstake, into a, you know, a contest. So... That's when I started making mantra loops. And I think the first mantra loop I ever made was five, two, zero. Money swooping in like a hero. And that's on my, you can find it on my YouTube. And it was just five, two, zero was a, what? Gar Garbovi code? Garboboy? Something like that. It's a code. It's kind of like a say a matrix type of thing with numbers you input it into the system and then it it generates whatever so i don't know i, I was kind of into to it for a minute but then i'm like mm, it's not really doing nothing for me like i didn't really align with it personally but it did it did make that i can't give it that it did make that because you're supposed to like write them down on your hand or like always watch them or whatever so i'm like let me just put it in a song and then I believe in the one I have on YouTube, I I was also listening to subliminals at the time, which are just like affirmations, very low. Like you can't consciously hear it, but they're still there. So they're still penetrating your subconscious, like over some music or they're just very quiet. So I put the Garble Boy, Garble, the code, the G code, that's what we're going to call it. I put the G code over that so that when you're listening, it's also just going, going, going. Um. So yeah, that's how I got into mantra loops. And then from there, 
I just kept making different ones based on what I needed help with, what I wanted to change. So I have one for communication. My communication skills are great. I always know the perfect thing to say. I love each and every conversation. My voice is a powerful vibration. Just in my community. And just repeating, repeating, repeating. I have one for confidence. I have one for miracles coming. I have I have so much for money. Because, baby, <laughs> when I tell you I had no money, I I never really had no money for real, like, ever in my life. Ever had money. But now I'm financially free. And I attribute a lot of that to mantra loops. Changing my mind. Programming my mind to believe something different <clears throat> i always used to believe money was hard to get i'm probably never going to be rich paycheck to paycheck you know minimum wage job become a worker da, 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 da. i always believed that but now i'm able to make so much money i believe that i can i make money from doing what i love you know what i'm saying so saying those things let's see what's the money one i got um what's the money one money comes to me constantly it's not good pay to be me. I make money, get my sleep. Every day my bank account increases. Literally, like, and just repeat, 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 and it just makes you feel good. You start feeling it. Now, the first one that really blew up was How Good Can It Get? And that song, I, I started making them official songs, and I'm going to make all of my Mantra Loops official songs of officially so you can listen to it on spotify on repeat but how good can it get hey universe i got a request i want you to show me just how good my life can get i just said the best and i've got all of it so i'm gonna let you do your thing thank you in advance that was one of the first ones that really blew up like literally i think it has over five hundred thousand streams i think it has more than that almost like across YouTube, Spotify, Apple Music. But that one hooked. That one caught so many people. And it was like, okay, yes, this is what I'm supposed to be doing. Like, whole time I'm I'm doing these. I'm creating mantra loops to be paid to do what I love. I make a lot of money doing what I love. My gifts and talents, I see it from above. I'm rich and happy. So far from a scrub, life is so abundant, and I don't gotta do too much. I'm making a lot of money, doing what I love. My gifts and talents, I see it from above. I'm rich and happy, so far from a scrub, life is so abundant, and I don't gotta do too much. I'm telling you, like, just repeating that, because <clears throat> that's the only way we learn things. Just, just think of a baby. Growing up, learning, they only learn things from repetition. When you're when you're learning, if you're learning an instrument or you're learning a song, muscle memory. It's like, so growing up, I'm learning, I'm repeatedly seeing proof that of, of like poverty, of like, of, of no money, no money on my car, bankrupt. I'm constantly seeing that. So that's what I believe. So once you, you have to, in order to believe something else, you have to go back in and reprogram all that through more reputation. You have to keep seeing proof of something that is true to really believe it. So even before the money came in, I believed it because I'm, I'm saying, I'm telling myself, like, you have to, you have to believe it before you can see it type thing. You know what I'm saying? So reprogramming that subconscious mind just from anything as you were growing up that you believe to be even if you believe things to be true about people if you believe things to be true about yourself about the way that cars work about relationships whatever you were constantly being seen being exposed to growing up is what you believe and that's creating everything around you and i know it may seem so far-fetched that it, it it may seem so far fetched <laughs> like everything everything I can have like I can be rich I can I can be in a healthy relationship I can be a great mom I can I can have so many great friends you can have literally everything boo okay literally everything um so yeah I'm not going to make this video too long I just wanted to come on there and talk about that 
um, there are a lot a, of things, mantra loops out there. There are a lot of affirmations that you can make. There are a lot of affirmation tapes out there on YouTube, on uh, um, Spotify, probably. I don't know. But there's a lot of affirmation music. And I have a playlist of some of the affirmation music that I listen to. And, and, and you don't need these forever. Like these are just tools to build the, the subconscious, right? To build the lifestyle. Like I, I still listen to them, but I don't listen to them as much as I used to. I listen to them to remind me. At first you want to listen to them to actually get them to work. You know what I'm saying? To get them into place, to do the reprogramming, to do the rewiring. You want to listen to them, but then eventually you won't need it anymore. It's like a hammer when you're building a house. You just need the hammer to build the house. Eventually, you might need to go get a hammer to put some holes and nails in the wall or build something else to add on to the house. But <clears throat> you're not going to need the, ha the hammer every day after the house is built. So, yeah. Um, I also have um, a bunch of my mantra loops out and I will be releasing more. I have a whole vault. I have a bunch that nobody's even heard yet that's helped me become who I am and have all the things that I have and <clears throat> live the life that I do. So I'm going to be releasing those because I've been holding on to them. But I also wanted to to sit with them a minute and to be proof that it actually works before I share it. You know what I'm saying? So, yeah. And then just with divine timing, I didn't feel like the timing was right. I was trying to make sure everything was perfect. But I'm just going to upload them because... <clears throat> they're not meant for they're not meant to be perfect they're just meant for reprogramming i need some water <clears throat> but yeah i also have an ebook out if you are interested in some of the other ways that i manifested things that i have literally <coughs> literally this apartment i manifested i manifested this two years ago not even two years ago what was it? excuse me february march april may june july august six months ago <clears throat> i was living in my mom's house for over a year because i i wasn't able to afford rent anymore and now i'm in my own apartment <clears throat> oh my gosh <clears throat> honey are you experiencing this woman now i have my own apartment i had a healthy pregnancy i my bills are paid with ease. My bank accounts are nice. I have a couple businesses. My room is a vibe. Like, I went from sleeping on a futon from a couch to an air mattress to a futon to a king size bed to a king size thousand dollar bed. Literally. Immediately. You know, one night it was an air mattress, the next night it was a thousand dollar mattress king size in my own in my own space i'm just saying like try it out the the mantra loops are free the music are free all you gotta do is listen it's free if you want to get the ebook it's five dollars it's not a lot if you want to it's just just check it out i'm not i'm not here to pander <laughs> i'm not here to pander but i just want to help you any way i can and I truly believe affirmation tapes and mantra loops, especially mantra loops, and especially creating your own. If you want me to create a custom mantra for you, I can. Just email me. I don't have them up anymore. I used to offer them, like, I used to just have them up on my website, but that's only for, you know, just email me. We can, we can talk about it, okay? So, yeah, I hope you find something. I hope this video serves you in the best way possible. I hope that... You, this is your introduction to Matcha Loops or your reminder to get on Matcha Loops and Affirmation Tapes if you haven't been on them lately. But I hope you get everything that you desire in the best way, in the perfect way. And I hope you have an amazing day. I love you. I'll call you back.